case, it's time to apply this equation to an example right here. Same example we used in the last videos. It's nitrogen gas at this temperature with this specific volume per unit mass. So first thing first, since the equation uses this right here, which I personally use this right here, is how many cubic meters per kilomole. And, and this is not kilomole, so I need to change that. How do I change that? Just multiply by the molecular weight and you will get this value here. And the good thing here is that you don't need to calculate A0, A0, C0. They are actually all in one graph so or table. You just need to copy them. Instead of calculating each time A0 and B0, you have it as a data. So I think this is a better, let's say, or an easier way Benedict Verbruggen equation, even though it comes from the Beate Bridgman equation, uh, I think this is cool because you don't need to calculate each time A0 and B0. But, anyways, let's continue with our procedure and our task. We have this equation, it's huge, I know. And once again, I'm going to recommend you to, broke, uh, to break this down into small pieces, name them, and then you see if they are adding, multiplying, etc. So I call this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If you have problems, you may even call this uh, 2, this guy 3, and this guy 4. Whatever you want to, it's okay. So let me calculate all the terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And yeah, essentially it's just substitute data. I'm very... One thing I wanted to show you is that you should use kilopascals, kilograms, kilomole, cubic meters, and Kelvin, okay? Uh, if you use something else, you're going to have problems and the analysis will not be correctly, or at least in the dimensions will not match and you're going to have problems. So once again, kilopascal, cubic meter, Kelvin, kilomole, kilogram. So just do it, substitute data, get all the values right here, right here, right here, right here, and so on. I don't want to bother you with that. Let me just, if you really want to see this, or the procedure, this is the time to pause the video and see how I got that, those numbers. And of course, you need seven and eight, which is here and here. Now it's time to go back to the equation. One is adding two, three, four, no, two multiplies three, four adds, okay, so, 2 multiply 3, okay, and 6, 7, 8 multiply, okay, perfect. This is here, I need to multiply these two guys and then add this guy and this guy and then multiply these three guys and then add them together. So, finally I got this 10,009 kilopascals which compared to the other equation was something about this and this is way lower, so 900 kilopascals correct because the actual value from book is 10,000. So this is pretty awesome, it's pretty near, and I will say that if you are really into this, don't do this by hand, do it by, or with a, an Excel spreadsheet or a program, or maybe even in your calculator, program that equation. Because if you do it by hand, you're going to definitely have a lot of errors, or you're going to have to take a lot of time, which I don't think is worth it. But it is definitely worth it because you have the actual value or very near value. So it's up to you, depending on what you need, what you need, and what do you need to do.